flip the lights, change the feed chart. Switching on the green LED in the dark. Another eight weeks, I'd like a new start. Another eight weeks, we flipping your feed chart. Another eight weeks. Welcome back. We're Hello. here in the Bloom stage. Here with my partner in crime. Connor. I'm Brandon. I'm with Psycho. We're at Taproot. And we're here for another eight weeks. So now we are in Bloom week. Bloom. We've done turn them lights back to 12-12. Things are about to start happening. Results. You're going to see what Psycho's really made of. All right, so week one, we're going to start out with the silica. You guys know I like to put that in first to avoid any lockout. Connor, we're going to do that at four mils per gallon. Four mils per gallon. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Stir it up really well. All right, so now that we got the silica in, we can just start moving down our chart. So instead of grow A, we're going to start with bloom A. We're going to go 12 milliliters per gallon. So 12 mil milliliters per gallon of the bloom A. Awesome. We're going to match that with the Bloom B. So the Bloom A, the Bloom B, they work together. They're super concentrated. That's why we can't put it in one bottle. Um, you're going to put 12 mils of that per gallon as well. Bloom A's got more nitrogen and calcium heavy, and the B's got the phosphorus, potassium, and the magnesium. And then together they've got all the micro, macro elements to grow your plant start to finish. And then we're going to add some additives to really boost it up. So up next, we're gonna go with the B1 Boost. This again, as in previous videos, is B1 through B15 vitamins. Um, acts as a stress reducer, keeps your plant happy, maximizes growth and uh, blooming. So we're gonna go eight mils per gallon of that, Connor. If you could, mix that up. Word. B1 through what you said? B1 through 15, got all your B vitamins right all here. All them B vitamins, stacking on them Bs. All right, next, four mils per gallon of the uptake. Humic acid helps the uptake of our nutrients. All right, so next up after uptake is Zyme. Zyme is a great product. Like I said before, we produce it all in-house. We're gonna run this at eight mils per gallon. It's an amylase enzyme, best concentration, best price, Best Zyme. All right, so next up, we're gonna start something unique for this week. We're gonna use the potash, and the potash is a uh, PK booster, but it's an early flower PK booster. So what it's gonna do is it's really gonna help the onset of flowering, get everything ready for later weeks when you're really gonna pack on that weight. And so on the potash, we're gonna run four mils per gallon, and you run the potash the first half of flower. So if you're in an eight week flower, you're gonna run it the first four weeks. Our next product is gonna be uh, Sugar Rush. We're gonna run that at four mils per gallon. And Sugar Rush is our carbohydrate. It's a really high quality carbohydrate. Um, carbohydrates are used for a few different things. They feed the microbes in your soil. Um, they naturally break down salts. And another big thing is your plant senses how much sugar is around the root zone. You know, your plant thinks there's gonna be microbes there, so it wants to help feed them. And carbohydrates are really important. You know, they break down salts naturally, they feed your microbes, and another thing is they just let your plants know that sugars are available around the root zone. Your plant really uses everything it does in photosynthesis, or it uses sugar for everything it does in photosynthesis, so you want it to keep and maintain all its sugar. If there's not enough sugar around the root zone, it's gonna discrete its own sugars out to feed the microbes that it thinks is there. So sugars are very important. That's one of those products that people kind of sleep on and um, you know we take seriously here at Psycho. All right, last, Dr. Repair, as every week, four mils per gallon. Dr. Repair is a fast-acting iron and nitrogen, um, and it just keeps everything nice and neat. If you've as got a preventative, a, right? As a preventative, you run it at four mils per gallon. If you've got a deficiency, you double that up to eight mils per gallon, and it'll pretty much knock out what you need it to. All right, guys, this concludes the first week of flower. Um, we're here at Taproot doing another eight weeks. I'm Brandon with Psycho. I'm Connor with Taproot. Yep, and we're here to bring you another eight weeks. See you next time. Dude, that was dope.